What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lime SC here. Ladder is six hours away. And you know what you need to do in those six hours? Probably get some food, maybe maybe sleep if you're somewhere, uh, you know, just rest up and get ready. But the most important thing you need to do is this. You need to get your load times improved. That's right, everybody. It is time to fix up your load times. Uh, because Diablo 2 Resurrected load times are just a pain in the butt. This was originally built for single player, but then people started to realize, oh, this actually helps online as well. Get in here, get them fixed, it's going to help you out a lot. We're going to go through this whole piece right here. I will have this post in the description for you so you can follow along as well. Um, but we'll jump into it. So, the first thing that we need to do is open up your Diablo 2, click play, click subscribe on this video, leave a comment for the algorithm, you know, all the stuff to do. We'll get our Diablo 2 rolling. And, uh, probably should have done this pre-video, but it's okay. We'll play offline. Okay. So, the first thing that you need to do is this. Options, go to the frame rate cap and set it to zero. Set it to this infinite over here. As far on the right as you possibly can. Okay? So that's number one. Number two, you can disable VSync. It may help, it may not, depends on the hardware. Um, you can test around. But why? It's just some way that the game has some optimization with it. Oh no, it works. That's all I can say. Number three, uh, you don't have to do this, but you can if you want, where you launch it from the shortcut, but this is only if you're playing offline. So if you're doing that, you can literally, I'll show you, uh, how do you, you get it to, to minimize? No, I want it whatever you can create a shortcut of the game and then I have like the shortcut right here it's on my other monitor right so you can you can create this shortcut um, and then you have that and this is so you can launch the game without connecting to the battle.net servers which will make it a little bit faster but again this is for offline only there is also the argument dash ns which is no sound um, it'll launch the game without sound Again, it improves load times, but then you don't have sound. So these two, you can skip right there. Otherwise, you can add that to the command argument if you're cool with that. Now, these are the important parts. These are the ones that we're actually gonna care about. Uh, number one, again, blocking the connection to Battle.net. This is if you are on single player. So you can create an outbound rule and then um, it'll block that connection. And so this is so it will not try and interact at all with the online servers, which will save you some of the load times. But just for people who play purely on single player, because again, this post was written for single player. But number two is where the multiplayer actually comes in. And the outbound rules aren't actually that too difficult. You can go into the uh, Windows firewall. Um, and then just create a new rule and then find the D2RXE program and set it. So that one's pretty easy. Number two is a little more difficult, but this is the one that actually improves online play as well. So what this does is it unpacks 40 gigabytes of game files and loads them directly in the shortcut options. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to come here. You're going to go to your game settings and you're going to do dash TXT and dash direct. Okay, so you can click this box, additional command line arguments. This is where you could also set like NS, enable respec, any of that stuff. Okay, so I'm setting that right there. And that's done um, for that. Okay, so having that there is going to be to load that. But now let's continue on from this. So first you're going to download this uh, cask viewer. It'll come out like this. You can open this bad boy up. And it'll be right there. Now, you open up whatever version is appropriate to you. That was the version appropriate to me. 
then you go to open storage um, and you're going to go to wherever your game is so mine is right here right and then I'll select that folder and open that folder in there right so just the regular D2R folder then you'll click data over here data again and you'll have these three folders okay now this next part will take some time because what you're going to do is you're going to extract these three folders into the work folder so again if we open this up let me go to where that folder was really fast oh boy where was that folder <laughs> Um, is it here? Where did I put that folder, guys? And uh, maybe it's on my D drive. No. Open file location. That'll be easier. So if you go to wherever, oh, it's in my downloads. That's why. If you go to wherever that folder is, you can see right here, there's a work folder, okay? So, I will take these and extract them into this work folder right here, okay? So you can just grab them uh, and then, you know, blah, 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 and then extract, and then you'll extract them into that folder, right? Once you have done that, because once again, that'll take a long time, it's 40 gigabytes, um, you can move these folders from here, th th those will be in there, and you move them to your Diablo 2 Resurrected, which if we go to Program Files, Diablo 2 Resurrected, into this data folder. So now you can see I have Global, HD, and Local now in this folder right here okay and that's it once again it will take a little bit of time but you're just taking these extracting them and moving them over into here and then you're good to go and now what this does is when you launch diablo 2 with the direct txt it's going to load in all of the files for like the maps things like this and then what you can do for speed after that point is you can go to the game and you can actually just go to like every location in the game and you can already see i mean look at these load screens right and you can literally just load every map and then they'll load even faster on all loads after that, right? Still takes a tiny bit of time to go to between the acts, but this is kind of the first load of it, right? So the first load will take a tiny bit of time, but you can just go in and get all of these set. And so you notice the first load takes the longest, and then after that, it's like instantaneous loading between these maps. And you do the same thing. So you just do this for every single waypoint. And so having a character with all the waypoints is really good for this because that's just an easy way to load all the maps. Again, you can still notice these aren't really that long of loads even with that, right? So, Direct TXT is not, this is totally okay by Blizzard. You are not uh, modifying any of the files whatsoever. You are simply preloading them. Now, a couple of things. One, Act 5 loads are always going to be a little bit longer. They just seem to be slightly more unoptimized. So, some of them will have a tiny bit of a longer load. Um, but these other ones, and again, cross act does seem to take a little bit of time, but it's pretty, pretty instantaneous, pretty fast loads right there. And then again, you can take this to online, 
Um, and, I mean, this is online loading right now. These are my online load speeds. When have you loaded this fast in D2R online? Ever? Answer, you haven't. That's it. So, that right there will do it. And yeah, I mean, even, you know, loading into these zones and stuff, you can go. You can go preload every single map if you would like. Um, but like I say, you know, I mean, that, that it, it's flashing. The, I mean, the speeds are insane. The speeds are insane. Uh, so, that is how you do it. I'm going to just cut this video right now, put, put it up on YouTube. Like I say, it takes a tiny bit of time. Maybe it took me like 40 minutes in total, I think. Because of just how long it took to extract the files and stuff. But once you have it done, you're flying. And then, yes, it, the preload carries over when you log out and everything. You just need to, like, do it and then you're good to go. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Good luck, everybody. Enjoy the ladder. Peace, YouTube.